Hello guys and welcome to the Straight Shadow Legends video. Today I'm doing a guide on fame. <laughs> fame. Jesus Christ. Uh, I actually made a guide on her, uh, I think, yesterday. But apparently, earlier today, there was uh, an um, announcement, announcement from Plarium where they are giving away fame and some additional things. Let me take a look here. <clears throat> this is what you will get in this giveaway. This is a limited time, limited time offer. This is a $40 worth or something, but yeah. Usually they don't give away free champions, so this is actually really special. So um, yeah, great to watch her. Some energy, epic book, and Fane. Um, I already have uh, I already have Fane uh, because uh, yeah, she's a good champion. So. Um, with my current fan build, I built her to uh, basically solo the dragon boss. Uh, and to do that, you well, I chose to go with lifestyle gear instead of regen or something, just because I want to go with damage. So I built her with, with damage, some health, and defense. You need some um, close to 30,000 health and 2600 defense, somewhere around that to actually survive um, in case the dragon hits you with a crit or something. You want over 200 speed if possible, some accuracy and uh, yeah, some damage. I'm using her only on um, red affinity, so that means she has positive affinity and she'll get 15% extra crit rate. So I'm actually at 98%. You you want 100, just to be sure that. But anyway, she has a great base attack, so scaling, scaling her attack is kind of easy. So. Yeah, last gear, accuracy, whatever you saw that. Uh, she is one of the better epics in this entire game, and especially for clan boss. I will show her in dragon later, but um, I think her strongest area is clan boss. Here, she has a triple hitter that applies decreased defense and weakened, both the strong versions. 100% chance uh, whenever you uh, book this. Um, this is just as great as um, Draco Mars, basically. Uh, same uh, same debuffs, and she also applies poisons. So if you're not using her in a unkillable team, this decreased attack is very useful as well. Then uh, yeah, her multipliers are pretty good, and uh, her A1 has a chance to steal Terminator. You can steal the dragons or clan bosses Terminator, but it's pretty good still. Uh, for Masteries, I went for War Master to do some additional boss damage. Um, kind of normal damage build here. Um, you would want this one, Clan Boss, maybe. Uh, yeah. We, if you are going an unkillable team, you will probably not go for defense. Unless. Um, you don't have a counter attack or something, then you may want to block these retributions. But because she has pretty good uh, debuffs, you may want Master Hexer, maybe. If you are struggling with accuracy as well, this is good. Or else I would recommend Defense 3 here just to have the chance to do the retribution there, uh, counter attacks. So, let's jump into a Dragon Run. Ba -ba -ba. Do I have this team chosen? Yes, I have. Um, I will try to make all the others die just to showcase how she works on the dragon. Um, they might survive a bit, but I'll try to not do too much damage with them. One shot wave here with a poison exploder team. Wait, what the hell happened here? Is this. Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, I might not have chosen the right... Yeah, this wasn't chosen. Okay, so the AI was stupid. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, it should work every time because I... Yeah, I, I switched them around and tried the other teams doing some account takeovers and stuff, so... The wrong team was chosen. That it's good. Okay. Um, since I want to do at least my amount of damage as possible... I'm not going to apply much poisons, if possible. Oh, 
and it's okay whatever uh maybe this increase your damage poisons i guess i guess okay please kill someone no he's gonna do the breath thing isn't he jesus well at, at least i can show her so i will do her Right, this was not supposed to be a poison exploder show showcase, but uh, what can you do? The poison bars are all filled, so anyways. I'm not gonna do that. Can you survive? I don't want you to survive. Jesus Christ, don't extend. Okay, good. Hopefully, someone will die. Okay, how many turns am I gonna take? Okay, basically everyone died. She is pretty healthy, she is positive affinity against this boss, so she has additional survivability here. Uh, let's do this one again, because we don't want to do a dangerous attack for him to actually die. Oh, he healed a lot, damn it. Damn it. Boom, uh, weak hit, counterattack, beautiful. Yeah, she, that counterattack is actually really useful here as well. So we can keep her alive. Jesus Christ, man, can you die? Oh, frick. More poison extensions. This team is too good. Well, whatever. If everyone would have died, then Fane would easily have just one one the entire boss. If I use double Tortoise instead, maybe that will be... Yeah, then... Uh... Okay, whatever. Okay, let's actually do that real quickly. Just to show her survivability even more. Where's my second Taurus? There he is. Alright. Prioritize that. Beautiful. Yeah, so her debuffs are really uh, amazing. Hopefully you are fast and good. Beautiful. Now boss shouldn't have that many poisons and you will see poison well I mean um, pain's solo possibilities that's the least amount of poisons beautiful you will do that to increase your damage actually I want to make the others die just for this showcase So she can solo this. Is he gonna die? Oh, of course. Probably in the next one, right? Beautiful. Yeah, with this spell, she will survive even if the decreased attack isn't there. Okay. So now the boss has over half health. Basically, she will still do the job. And she will survive even though she don't apply. Uh, the War Master Prox, but War Master Prox just, yeah, it heals her more, but that's not needed that much. Okay, that, that passive there as well, uh, if she takes more than 25% health, she has a chance to reduce, well, remove a debuff, and the dragon should have applied a stun right there, so, yeah, she's not even hurt, like, and even if the dragon crits, she'll survive easily. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. But well, that's fine, she's just there for um, security cases in case everyone else dies. So, boom, almost as much damage as Savia, that one shot all the waves. Beautiful. Um, Where else is she useful? Well, she's not that useful in Faction Wars. Hmm. Yeah. So, I guess. Mostly, she is useful in uh, Dragon, stage 24, 25, stages like that, and obviously Clan Boss. Clan Boss and Killable Teams is her really strong place, then she will do millions and billions of damage, 
She will she can be a damage dealer to him, basically. Decrease defense and weaken helps everyone else deal a lot more damage as well. And she has poisons and great base damage. Um yeah, anyways, that was this for this champion showcase. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And uh yeah, Fain is worth building in my own opinion. And um yeah, hope, uh, hopefully you got this limited offer in time, and uh, or else you hopefully pull her soon. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please subscribe, leave a like, you know it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.